Hi, I'm Darlene, and I'm gonna walk you through the domain settings page. Let's go. I'm logged into a GoDaddy account. I'll click the arrow to access the quick links and select Manage Domains. Right now, I have the screen set to Advanced View. To access any domains settings page from this view, just click directly on the name. Let's toggle to Symbol View. Click the three bar icon to the right of the search field. Same thing works in Simple View. To access a domain's settings page, just click on the domain name. We're looking at a domain that's currently being used for a website. In the top portion of the screen, you'll see that the domain is set to automatically renew on this date. When a domain is being used, you'll see two options, one for managing the product or functionality for which you're currently using it, and a second option to add any other products for which you might also like to use it. This portion of the screen looks different when your domain is not being used. Let me show you the difference. When a domain is not being used, the renewal status and date still display, but you'll also see the Use My Domain button. The Use My Domain button functions in the same manner as it does on the domains page. Clicking it will take you to a page that includes several ways in which you can use your domain at GoDaddy. Let's head back to the settings page and check out the rest of the info. The remaining sections on the settings page are the same regardless of whether your domain is in use or not. First up is the contact information for the domain. This domain has private registration on it, so the contact info is hidden and this generic placeholder content is all that will display on a Whois lookup. To view and edit your contact information, click View Personal Information. Here's the actual contact information for this domain. To change any contact information, click Edit. You can also change the address to which domain-related emails are being forwarded or remove privacy altogether. Below the contact information is the Additional Settings section. This section breaks down the renewal and privacy settings you've established on this domain. For example, while this domain does have private registration, it does not have domain ownership protection, also known as protected registration. This domain is set to auto-renew. However, if you wanted to cancel the domain upon its expiration, you'd click the link to the right of the auto-renew setting. In addition, this domain is locked to prevent unauthorized changes. To unlock the domain, click Edit. When you choose to unlock a domain, some settings may not be available while we process your update. You'll also want to check your inbox if you turn off this setting. You might also receive a confirmation email you need to respond to. Finally, at the bottom of the settings page, you'll find the links to several domain management tasks. That's it for the domain settings page. I'm Darlene, thanks for hanging out.